All right, Dr. Mm -hmm. Ashton, a few questions from yep. our audience. Here is the first one it has to do with booster shots. Is there a blood test that can tell us when we might need a third dose or booster shot of the COVID vaccine? So much to unpack there with this question. In theory, yes. Um, and in clinical trials and a research setting, we are looking at antibody levels, something called titers, which basically is a number that tells you what your antibody level is. But the reason this is not ready for prime time yet is because we don't know the basement, the threshold number, if you will, under which you say, okay, you used to be high, now you're dropping, now you're you know, less protected than you were before, time for that booster or third dose. Also, remember that part of our immune response Part of it has to do with antibodies, which, you know, you can test in general with a blood test. But part of it has to do with T cells. It's a completely different arm of our immune system. So there's a lot here. Remember, we're just a year and a half into this. Um, so this is not recommended for the general, you know, people like us. Go get a blood test and look at a number. We just don't know how to use that information yet. All right. This is really interesting because mm -hmm. I didn't even know this was a thing, and I love this herb. So <laughs> people recommend thyme as an antiviral herb. Are there other herbs that you recommend for fighting off illness? Well, there has been some data. It's generally all over the place in the world of nutritional science research about certain herbs, and there are a lot of them that have been linked with possible antiviral activity. You hear garlic, basil, elderberry. There, I mean, the list goes on and on and on. It, there's a big difference between studies that are done in a lab setting and some that are done in an organism. And that's why the research is kind of all over the place. Bottom line, what I tell people is a little of something may be good, a lot of something may be bad, and if something works, you have to consider not just that it may have benefits, but that it may also have risks. And when people say, well, it's natural, uh, digitalis comes from a natural plant, uh, that's a powerful cardiac heart medication, so you can't say if it's natural, it's safe. But I, I love the question. Just put it on your food. Yeah. All right. Yes. Amy, keep cooking with she us. Does. Sprinkle some thyme <laughs> on my chicken and mushrooms. It's, it's amazing. There you go. All right, folks. All right, you can keep your questions coming to Dr. Ashton on her Instagram at Dr. J. Ashton. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching. And we'll see you in the morning on GMA.